Bugatti was first founded in 1892 when gold was discovered in the area known as Fly Flat by prospectors Arthur Wesley Bailey and William Ford. Australia had seen several major gold rushes over the previous three decades, mostly centred on the East Coast, but these had mostly been exhausted by the, by the 1890s. So in Kilgardy, with the discovery of a new gold field, an entire new gold rush began, with thousands flocking to the area. Although today Kilgardy is known as mother of the gold fields, the town is mostly known for tourism and is really a mining ghost town. I, I really recommend stopping at Kilgardy though, there's a lot to see and quite a things to do and has an excellent museum. For me, I'm here for a little while prospecting, hoping I'll find that bit of gold again. Morning team. Mike here, old fellas travels. Um, so, fishing was <laughs> terrible to Lancelin the other day, that was the last trip. This morning I'm heading to out to the gold fields. I might drive all the way through to um, Coolgardie, which is a area out there that I've that looks fairly interesting on the geographical maps. And um, I know there's gold there, but whether there's any gold on the surface or not, I don't know. So that's going to be my first target for. Uh, a bit of gold hopefully I might find some it kill uh, just out of Coolgardie but that's today's target Coolgardie and um, we'll go and have a quick look today but I don't know whether we're going to get there early enough so Coolgardie overnight then first thing in the morning we'll head out um, and uh, start doing a bit of prospecting so I'm just coming out of Perth now there seems to be a bit of a traffic jam going up the hill up over along Great Eastern Highway, up over Kalamunda. But um, once we get past this and out on the open road, I imagine we'll um, we'll get a pretty good run through. Anyway, guys, that's the challenge for today. If we get a good run, we'll go straight through to Coolgardie. If we um, if we don't do well, we'll um, stay the night at Meriden. Wish me luck. There's gold in those hills. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I won't strike a rich, but sooner or later we'll find gold. What are they, mate? You've never seen them before. <laughs> Look at them. What are they? Track barns.
are they, mate? You've never seen them before. <laughs> Look at them. What are they? Alright guys, um, day five, no gold yet. Today's a new location. Um, it looked promising. I had it marked for some, well I had it marked before I came out here as, um, as a second option. And now I'm on the ground, it actually looks pretty good. Doesn't look like there's been many scrapes here. Looks like there's been someone at a bit of a camp here. I suspect it's the drillers, because they have done some drilling out here, test drill holes. But um, day five. New location, Kugadi Outback. <laughs> we'll see how we go, eh? Let's go prospecting. Hey team, well, I'm heading back from the Never Nevers. <laughs> You can call it that. The old track's pretty get rough going. It's been a long day. I'm right on top of the fault line today, which probably isn't ideal. But um, anyway, better make sure I don't get lost. The only way I can find you, only way to find your way in, and well, more correctly, find your way out is um, via a um, navigation system such as. What I'm using the um, Garmin Overlander, which allows you to um, breadcrumb where you are. Otherwise, I could be out here for days. <laughs> and uh, I only got enough food and water for about four days, so it wouldn't be ideal. The old fellas travels component of. of gold prospecting have begun. I've only got a couple of days left in this trip and um, I need to head back but I'll, I'll be out again because um, I'm not going until I, I'm not leaving to go back to Queensland until I found gold. Anyway guys, it's a big day. A hint of gold in them eels, boy. Will there be more? Only hard work and time spent will tell. Gold is not where you find it, I was told, and that's true. You, um, but as I learn more about geological structures on where gold is found, and the better I get at metal detecting, the um, prospects of finding more gold will increase thanks guys hope you enjoy this little snippet of gold adventuring oh there's a big branch here and I've been trying to avoid it it ran down the side of the roof on the way in and um, didn't mark it thank goodness but no doubt I've got a little bit of pinstriping because this track has been tight in places and rocky because I'm driving right along the fault line at the moment and um, the fault line tends to be full of bedrock and granite and um, lava stone and god knows what else anyway thanks if you've um, watched this little journey there'll be uh, a lot more to come see you guys wish me luck <laughs> gold fever <laughs> see ya <laughs> <laughs>